What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to customize your actual, uh, let's say, template to see the order confirmation into your Shopify store. So it's really, really easy. The very first thing you wanted to do is to go into your Shopify administrator. So as you can see already in here and into the upper side, I have my orders. Into my order, I should be seeing all my different orders, the accept payments, the customers, uh, the different plans and charges I have now here available. If I wanted to change the customized template for the custom order confirmation, you want to go directly into settings. Once I head down in settings, I wanted to locate this left part of my store. So I want to scroll a little bit down and focus here into the option that says the actual notifications. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. I take that here into the notifications. I scroll all the way up and here have the customized email template. So what I wanted to do is to hit into customize email templates. Here we go. And as you can see, we have the order confirmation here. My store, the order number. Thank you for your purchase. We get here uh, the order summary and there we go. So what I wanted to do is to change the email templates here. So what I want to do here is to go into add image of my logo. So I'm going to upload my image. I'm going to hit now into downloads. I choose my branding logo, which is in my case, this one. I paste that here and I go into done. So it should be appearing my actual logo into the left part of my actual logo. So as you can see, it says logo size. You can make this a little bit more smaller or high enough like this. And then later on, I'm gonna just go here. I'm gonna hit now into safe, of course, so I can see the preview. And there we go. So as you can see, here's my logo. I'm gonna make this a little bit more uh, smaller, of course, cause it's too big. So there we go. The logo size is now looking great. Now in my case, the accent color is not blue, but the actual red. Uh, I mean, something like a little bit more greener, let's say like this, maybe. And there we go. So once I have now finished that, I'm going to keep now into save. And there we go. Here you have, thank you for your purchase. And we're getting order ready to ship. We'll notify you, blah, blah, blah. Here's the base of your order. I screw all the way down and just make sure that this one actually looks great. And then later on, if I want to change something else, let's say, for example, the order edited, he's going to be appearing. This is how it's going to be appearing, the order edited. So now I'm going to go back here and then later on, I can go into the order confirmation here. So this one should be sending me into the new preview of how it's going to be looking my confirmation. Now, if I wanted to edit, for example, like the font, like the text, uh, the elements, you wanted to edit the code here into the actual code. So I'm going to go into edit the code. And this one should be taking us into the liquid variables here. So I'm going to screw all up it down. And here, as you can see, we have the email body and the email subject. So um, I wanted to edit all of these elements before I can start by, you know, editing the actual code. So uh, what I need to do here, I'm going to scroll all the way up. I needed to confirm my email address, of course, in order to allow the notification sent. So I'm going to go here into my email. I'm going to verify this real quick. So there we go. As you can see, I now have access to the email body of the HTML file. But let's say that I don't know absolutely anything about the editing email body type. This is the part where I wanted to use Microsoft Bing Chat AI. So this section is going to be helping me to do this to you really, really fast. So you need to have a Microsoft Edge browser. Otherwise, it just won't work. So what I wanted to do is to hit here into the Microsoft Edge here. Once we are now in here, I wanted to go directly into the upper side. It says the Bing here. So I'm going to go and go into new topic. Here it says more creative, more balanced, more precise. I just want to focus in here. And let's say that I don't know how to change the font style of an order confirmation. So go here, it says ask me anything. Let's go for create an HTML code to change my website font to Montserrat. There we go. So now what's going to be happening here is that this one should be generating me the HTML code file. So what I just need to do is to copy this actual file 
and we're actually good to go. So I'm gonna go here into spa, stop responding here. So I'm gonna just go click into stop, stop responding here. Now, sure, here's an example of how you can change the font of your website to Monsera using this file. So what I wanted to do is to copy all of this information. And now it says that you can add the linked tag to the head section of your HTML code to import the this font. Then you can use the font family property in your SWS code to apply this one font to this higher element in your page. So I'm going to go back here to my Shopify. Here's my email body. So in this email body, I wanted to look out for the actual uh, doc type HTML file, which is actually this one. So I go here into the 49, here into the enter mark, and I paste my document. So this option it says HTML, where it says embody, I should delete now this element. There we go. And hit now into save. And there we go. So now the notification template has been now saved. So I can go back into preview and we're actually good to go. If this is not the font that you are actually looking for, or you think that this one should be looking different, what I can totally suggest to you is to go back here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna revert this to the default page and I'm gonna copy all of this email body. I'm gonna go back here into the Microsoft Bank and let's go use this code, this HTML code and edit it so I can change the font of Montserrat style in this file. Let's go for two dots. I paste this code and there we go. Once it has been successfully done, add it. I wanted to just copy all of this file. I'm going to go into the upper side here. I choose the very first part. I go down here and I copy this link. I copy this HTML file. So it's really easy now to just delete all of the email body and paste the new one that was generated by the actual artificial intelligence chat. So I can go now into save and there you have it. Now it's working really, really great. I can send the test email if everything now good looks correctly uh, successfully done. So um, as you can see, guys, this is how we can try to uh, edit your custom email templates using another try another type of font in here into Shopify. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of the actual Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I hopefully can see you into the next video.